The purpose of today's screencast is to show you how to create a Google Meet code so that students cannot access your room before you arrive or after you leave. So first, we will be going to the waffle, going to Google Meet, and creating a code. So it says join or start a meeting. So I'll make it say Sholas test. Continue. And I'm going to just let it sit here in the waiting room. I am not going to go into the waiting room because I want to show you what the student will see if you've not entered. Okay, and this is the student view. So I'm on a test student account. And if I would like to log into um, test, oh, no, it's show list test. Um, I, as the teacher, have not gone into the room yet. So this is what a student will see when they're unable to get in. Because if you haven't joined, it will not allow. So it says the meeting hasn't started yet. So it will not allow the student in because I, as the teacher, have not started the meeting. I have not joined the classroom. OK, now that we are in my teacher room, my teacher um, Google Meet, um, this is the code that I've created that I would share with my students. You do not want to share this link because that will enable the students to get into the room before you enter the room, and it will also allow them to come back to the room after you've left. The other thing I want to highlight is that because you're using this nickname, it can only be used within our district. So students need to access this using their SYCSD account. Parents will not be able to access this room. I'll get rid of that. Um, now that I am in the room, I will show you what the student side looks like. Okay, so now that this, I am in my teacher room, I'm going to go ahead and try this again. And it allowed me to go in. Let me get rid of this. It allowed me to go in because the teacher, the, me as the teacher, I was already in. Um, so if I go ahead and come out, come back. So now on my teacher account, I have left the room. So let's see if I can get back in. And it will not allow me to get in because this meeting has already ended. So therefore, if done appropriately, you as a student cannot get into the room if a teacher is not in there and if the teacher leaves. But the key is the teacher has to be the last person out.